thrown plays of the week out the window, and he is live at the Astrodome in Houston with highlights of last night's Mets-Astros game. Warner, good morning. How are you? Good morning, Faye. Oh, there are no windows in the Astrodome, though. <laughs> 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 All right. The big story, of course, is that the Mets coming in here knew they had to split these first two games. They had to win one of the two. It didn't matter which one. And now, of course, ironically, it becomes the best three out of five series as the Red Sox-Angels series, which is the way it used to be anyway. Ryan was great last night for three innings. He struck out five of the first nine, but that was it. He was a three-inning pitcher. Bobby Ojeda, on the other hand, went the distance, and besides pitching well, he made two big plays. He tagged Bass out at home in the second inning unassisted, and he beat the throw to first, preventing an ending double play, inning, uh, inning ending double play which uh, went on, the Mets went on to score three runs in that fifth inning. But, big point in the game, in the fifth inning, the Mets had first base open, two outs, runners at second and third, and Hal Lanier did not walk Hernandez. Instead, he pitched to Hernandez, who came through with a two-run triple. Big point in the game. After the game, I asked Mets manager Davey Johnson if he was surprised that Lanier didn't walk Hernandez with first base open. I was a little surprised here. You know, I, he's been my big guy all year, really. Uh, he was my big guy last year. And, uh, in that situation, you know, you'd rather go righty to Carter. But, you know, I, it, you can look at it both ways. You got, the guy can pitch a little more careful to the hitter and maybe pitch around him, maybe get him to bite after a bad pitch. But I love it when they do that. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Dave. The point was Ryan, right-handed pitcher, and you had the left-handed hitting Hernandez with the right-handed hitter Carter on deck. Uh, also, after the game, Davey Johnson said that Ryan's pitch, which almost hit Lenny Dykstra in the head, really got the Mets riled up, and it perhaps woke them out of the sleep because the Mets hadn't scored. In fact, they're going back to the regular season. They went 18 straight innings without scoring a run against Astro pitching. All right. Let's go to the videotape, the highlights of last night's game. First of all, big defensive play, bottom of the second. Ojeda unassisted, tags out, Bass at home play. Then top of the fourth, Carter, who had struck out four times in his last five at-bats, doubles over Hatcher's head, Backman scores, and then uh, the sacrifice fly by Strawberry made it two to nothing. Then in the top of the fifth, Backman base hit, center field. Here comes Ojeda. Ojeda comes in. That made it three to nothing, Mets. But then again, first base open, and they pitched to Hernandez. Triple, Hatcher couldn't get it. Dykstra scored. Backman right behind him, 5-0. And that was really the ball game. The embarrassing play right here, Glenn Davis tries to run the bag without the ball. And uh, Ojeda all the way, struck out five, uh, walked two, and allowed ten hits. And Charlie Rose was at the game, by the way. Uh, also, by the way, there's also... You know, he, uh, Lanier pitched Scott and Ryan back-to-back. -back. They're both uh, fastball pitchers. A lot of people thought he perhaps should have pitched uh, Nepper in between, the left-hander. Because when you see Ryan, after seeing Scott, it's almost like Ryan, as fast as he is, might have appeared slow motion after facing Scott the first night. So tomorrow uh, in New York, tomorrow night, it'll be Darling against Nepper in game number three. And they're only meeting this year. Nepper did outpitch Darling. In fact, he shut the Mets out 3 0 on a three hitter. Ashby's two run single in the eighth broke the scoreless tie. So that's it. Faith? Warner Ojeda's got the yeah. better record, but they started yeah. Dwight Gooden in the first game. Some people are questioning that. Absolutely. Absolutely. Because another point is Houston is a stronger hitting team when they bat uh, left handed. And of course, uh, when the Mets throw a right handed pitcher, that's the way Houston bats. So a lot of people thought Ojeda perhaps should have started game one to force the Astros to go with the right-handed hitters, which includes Garner and Thon, and the three switch hitters have to turn around. Okay. But, but uh, again, the point is for the Mets, they had to split the first two, and that's what they did. Right, and we'll see you back here and the Mets back here.